Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to install Exchange Server Cumulative Update 14. And before proceeding, please refer to the previous video to set the TLS 1.2 with the best practices and enable the extended protection on your Exchange Server. I would also like to tell you that with this update, you do not need to prepare schema, just you need to prepare the AD. Because CU 10 has the schema changes, but CU 14 does not have any schema changes. So let's jump to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server. And if we open the page for cumulative update 14 for exchange server 2019, that is KB5035606. And this update includes this new daylight saving for exchange 2019. And this update enable the extended protection by default. And if you are using server 2022, it support .NET 4.8.1. And there are plenty of issues that this cumulative update fixes. You can see it on the Microsoft website. So you can download it from here. So we have downloaded this package. You can see here the prerequisite is .NET 4.8 and Visual Studio 2012. If you see this, Running prepare schema is not required unless you are upgrading from CU9 because there was a schema change in CU10. So we do not need to run the prepare schema. We need to just run the prepare AD that is required. And this is a known issue with this release like instead of SSL offloading, you have to use the SSL bridging on your load balancer. So let's try to install the CU14 for exchange server 2019. I will mount this and you can see this is in the E drive CU14. Let me close this and I would recommend you to put your exchange server in a maintenance mode before running this. So let me quickly navigate to the E drive and I will run the commandlet to prepare the AD. It is now preparing the organization. The operation has been completed successfully. So the prepare AD has been done. So let's try to run the setup I will select don't check for the update right now I have another video to put the exchange server in a maintenance mode you will see that link at the top right now it's initializing the setup you are about to upgrade so let's click on next accept the terms and condition and now it's checking the prerequisites make sure that if you have not enabled the extended protection this setup will enable it so we have already enabled the extended protection in our previous video. It says that we have an open PowerShell. So let me close this. You can see the PowerShell as an open file. So let's retry it. So we have a warning that it will prepare the AD. And after this operation, you will not be able to install any Exchange Server 2013 role. So that is fine. Let's try to install it. So you can see that we have 17 steps to go. Stopping the services. It's removing the old exchange files, now copying new files, configuring the step 12 mailbox role client access service, now setting up the mailbox service, now finalizing the setup. Now the setup has been completed successfully and it required the reboot. And also it says that exchange setup preserved the required configuration and you need to run the health checker script to see if there are any breakdown. So let me finish the setup. And let's restart the server. So now the server has been rebooted. Let's try to log into the ECP. So we are successfully able to log into the ECP. And let's try to send a test email. This is a mailbox for administrator. And let's try to log in with the user RAM as well. And from administrator, I will try to send an email to user RAM. After CU14 update, let's try to send. Mail has been sent. And you can see mail has been received by the user RAM. Let's try to reply received and send back. You can see the mail has been received by the administrator. Our email flow is working fine and we are successfully able to log into our ECP. So we have successfully upgraded our exchange to the latest version that is CU14. Now if you see that the latest version is this CU14 2024H1 and the build number is this. So let's verify it on our exchange management shell. I will run this commandlet and will hit enter. Now you can see the file version is this and same is here. 
So we have successfully updated our exchange server to the latest community update that is CU 14 2024 H1. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.